Good morning, YouTube. What is happening? Welcome back to Johnny's Garden Maintenance with me, Johnny Coyle. And me, Tim Today we have this massive beech tree. We planted, I'd say, about 30 years ago. It's been planted in the wrong spot. The garden is far too small. And now the tree is just overgrown. There's no light getting under the property. We've explained to the customer, it's a sand to cut this tree, but he's bought the house, so he wants it out. Pagus, the Vatica, Purpurea, the actual flat on that it is. There's a, there's a place for every tree, and this for this tree, fortunately, isn't here. A healthy tree, but in this case, uh, that's, the that's the goal. So, we're going to get stuck in, guys. Remember, if you're enjoying the content, like, comment, and subscribe. So you're going to practice right, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to hit these lumps one lump at a time. Um, as you can see, there's loads of them. We're going to work our way in towards the trunk, and then we'll take the trunk down in sections. So we'll hit all the lumps first, and then we'll hit the trunk.
they got a farm back where you have a cut down beach here and it's, uh, it's awkward, it's tangled out of wood hey. But uh, hey, get in there, get in there two more vans. Alright, and what are we going to do with this wood here from the trunk? <laughs> I'll be chopping that up and seasoning it and burning it in the fire. So guys this wood here is going to heat Nathan's back burner. Don't know why anybody got rid of the back boilers for how they were a goddamn godsend. But uh, I know for the price of oil and gas, I'm sure we've got wood and it's, it's a sustainable product as well. Very yeah. very sustainable as wood. Yeah, so pay him and wood. Uh, so he, he, wood. He, he works for me like, every day. <laughs> I pay him with birch and <laughs> birch and cherry, oak and cherry and whatnot. Yeah, so. it's more of a burger system. So it is. So I, that's what I get paid. And no, no actual monetary value. You know, keep it closer. He has my rod, folks. So it is. He has my rod. Rod that wood. I had a word with the owner about the tree. Me and him were talking. We thought we could maybe save it. You know, it's just tell us he's, he's worried about the foundation that he's this porch here so we can't really save it we're just going to cut it out cut it down the stump down the ground so happy days Cambium there, there you see. And then it's just really purple, just right, right at the cambium. It's absolutely gorgeous. Look at that there. It almost looks like candle wax. Mm. Oh. That's what it does. That's, that's gorgeous. And that's what gives the leaves their, their color, their pigment.
wish we could have, wish we could have kept it. Like, you know, you know, there was potential there too. Well, I would have stressed it through, but I'm pretty sure it would have came back. Like, we could have halved it in size, possibly. The customer was just worried about the, the roots affecting this porch, in particular, affecting the founds of the house, so. We tried to talk him into keeping it, but it was not fit, so. You know, they, they weren't far out beforehand, you know, and uh, unfortunately, we had to come in and just uh, take the whole thing away. Mm -hmm. but it is, guys, remember if you're enjoying the content, like, comment, subscribe, stay tuned for more content coming your way.